what you're looking at. Um, this is um, a 1963 $5 bill that I got at school um, last Friday, which was pretty amazing considering it's 1963. <coughs> and today, um, at my local coin star, um, they moved the machine out of the wall, so there was all these coins on the ground. I know it's bad, but I picked up some of them. So it ended up being a couple dollars worth, and I got two free rosy dimes. One's a 1964D, and one's a 1964D, sorry. Then I wanted to remind you guys about um, the next Anaheim show that's going to be on Sunday. <coughs> this Sunday. <coughs> same location, same time, blah, blah, blah. But this time, obviously, I'm going to be going. So I'm just showing you some things. Um, this is, I was going through my stuff and I actually found this. This is a 2007 10th um, ounce American Gold Eagle. This is the second lowest mintage date. And you know what? I kind of kicked myself in the butt because uh, a few years ago I had given up the quarter ounce of the same date. And so obviously it's a good one because it's low mintage. So I kicked myself in the butt for doing that. But anywho, um, sorry, I'm trying to do this as best as I can. Um, for the people that are asking me about the USBI, USBI silver pieces, I can't, I, I don't know where they, where my other ones are right now, but these ones, um, like especially this one, the, the San Diego coin exchange, um, that went for more than spot. So, um, just make me an offer. Um, so, you know, I might consider it. It depends on what you offer. Um, for my Swiss America, I want to get $150 for this one. This is a 5-ounce hockey puck. I call it a hockey puck because it's big. <coughs> for these other ones, I'm not sure yet. Because um, I have the flat ones, and then I have these other ones. And some of these ones... Um, actually have an error in it on them. <coughs> <coughs> it has like a die break. So you could see, um, the reflection of like the next, um, one in there. And then these ones I hadn't seen before, but, um, you know, again, those go for a premium. They're not just for spot. And... I have this Deke Pereira um, 250 gram bar. Um, I'd like to get $275 for that if if you're interested. I have an old Johnson Matthey 10 ounce bar for 350 bucks. I have some Foster Mint um, one ounces. This one's a three ouncer. Um, I'd like to get $35 an ounce for those. Um, for the old pours, I'm not sure yet. This one, I believe, is 3.2 ounces, so we'll have to figure something out. Um, for, let's see, if somebody's interested in these ones, I'll have to think about what the price is for that. But, um, <coughs> and I have this Denver Broncos round <coughs> that I know, um, one of my little customers will want because he's a Broncos fan just like I am and they want, just won the Super Bowl you know so of course this is going to be really um, special for him and then I have these two um, that are toned um, they have like this purpley blue toning on them but I'll bring that this this stuff right here and then I'll try to locate the rest of my USB VI silver and some other Bars and rounds to bring. Um, and I, I just found this bag. It has like these 10th ounce ones that are the Incus Indian. <coughs> Some of them are colored. And then I have like this one, for, one or two from the Quality Silver Bullion. I still have my Inglehart fractionals. I should come, I should show you guys those sometime because um, I know a lot of people have been asking to see them. But I have the 10th ounce. The quarter ounce and the half ounce. <coughs> and actually, when I got them, 
the half ounce came in a jar, which makes it more rare because it's an original Engelhard jar. But um, thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, and I hope if you're watching this AU Rebel, I hope you're feeling better, and so are you, um, Lady Liberty Stacker. And thanks again for tuning in. Take care. Bye.